here we are guys the guardian predator from predator 2 box looks absolutely fantastic it's a sideshow exclusive one the box itself is absolutely phenomenal really nice design to it back you can see I'm sorry, but the thing is, you've got the light sort of making it sort of work. I see as you move, the light changes, so that's pretty damn clever. Pretty nice as well on the box. Top end of the box. We'll take this off. Show you what we got. Seeing for the light that's shining on him, yeah, but he is in there, and it's lovely, beautiful from here. I mean, I am really pleased with that. That looks absolutely gorgeous from this side of it. I don't know, like I say again, I don't know how well you're seeing it, but I'm pretty damn happy with how that looks in there. So let's get him out and see what you get. So there we go, guys. This is what you get in the box. I'm pretty damn happy with how this guy is looking, you know. Got something hidden here. There's another wrist peg. That one looks slightly more better of a style of wrist peg, yeah. I don't know how well you can see that. We've got like the slight novel bit on it, but you've also got a bit where it can sort of cru crush in just slightly. You can see it. On either side of it. So there hopefully won't be as bad to get in and out as some of the other ones that I've had. But it's good that you're getting a spare wrist peg. Wrist peg. There's a quick thing here with the accessories. A hand here. It's like a gripping style hand. So, um, really nicely detailed. Another hand on this side here. And beautifully. Really beautifully detailed. So that's the wrist peg in this one already, which is good. This is what I said should have happened in the first place. I don't know why I haven't got one in that one. And obviously this thing is there because you'll have a wrist peg in them too, so that's pretty good going. Well, this big monstrous thing here, I don't know what the hell it is, but by God, it is a beautiful piece. I don't know how well you can see that. That is a beautiful piece. We don't see a monster that they've hunted down at some point. Could quite possibly be an alien. There's some uh, alien's head of some encryption, but I'm not sure. See, as I'm not up on all the Stuff like that, but I like it. I think that is beautiful. Beautiful piece that. And of course you have the helmet. Which is just plastic. No details on the inside at all. But obviously it'll fit over his head, I should imagine, and fit on him if it need be. Pretty good, nice detail to it. You have his well, I'm only subscribers it probably would be like a sort of, sort of a, like an oxygen style mask. Again, nice bit of detail to the in it. The piping is nice and loose, so it's able to move around nice and freely to go where it needs to go on the carter. So that's pretty good. We have the extra mandibles, which looks like they'll be the ones that would be in open mandibles, which is good. You always like to have the ability to, to pose them with open mandibles. 
to say again. I love all the details on them. Oh, just beautiful, beautiful pieces of work. You've got obviously two of those. We have down here. Oh, we've got a few bits in here. We have this piece now, yeah, which comes out. Okay, it's the same as the other one that I had. Opens out. So extend. Make a nice big piece. Yeah, it's really good. Folds right in on itself. Shorten right down. To a very small one. Very ends of them are bloody sharp, so you have to be careful. But doing that, guys, that is a lovely piece. And then we have the same piece that we had in another one as well. Piece that goes inside the fingers. Again, it opens up slightly. I don't know why it needs to open up that slight bit, but it opens up. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Gorgeous details. I mean, this is one of the things you always give hot toys. I would tell you, it is the amount of detail I put into stuff. Yeah, I don't know what this bit's for just now, but again, I suppose I'll find out. There should be some instructions or something there, or I'll be able to work it out as I'm going along. So you can see it's got a piece here sticking out, which possibly it fits into something. Where we go. And then the obligatory, as you can see down here, crotch grabber with his thingy with his nameplate on, and the character himself, which we'll get out and I will show you what he looks like. Just bear with me a moment. So here he is, guys, the Guardian Predator. I'm going to give you a close up in a moment, I just wanted to show a few things off with it while it's here. These things here. Are good to disguise the fact that the knees are pretty sort of they're properly made for my legs. Like, if, if you look in the elbows here, especially this one, you'll be able to see it better. I'll, try, I'll show you as a close up in a moment, but you can see the thingy there is are pretty badly done for me. That doesn't show it off to the best of its ability. This one's pretty disguised a little bit with the thing here. These bits move around, which is good. So when you do movements with it, it's going to thingy. These bits are quite slack and move around, which is probably good for when you're trying to pose it. It just feels a bit weird to start with. You do have the opposability here on these, which they'll come out, which I think is pretty damn good, you know. It's a shame because they're just plastic, so they probably snap quite easy. See how easy that's moving around? You'd have to get it in a position where it's, it feels more locked in place. Uh, then, so not too bad for sharpness, but with them being plastic, I would be worried about them snapping. So you have to be careful, especially if you're putting it on a stand and it falls over. With these things here, with having like a leather around this bit, or a leather effect, I always worried about over time, that sort of rotting away and leaving that looking a bit of a state, but that's probably, yeah, that's that's something for, probably by the time the thing is, there's some, somebody else to worry about. I probably wouldn't uh, be around long enough for that to happen for me. You have this, you have one of these gun cannons, that thing moves as well. It can position itself away. And you can pull it in. Out of the way. That's pretty good. You know, all the sort of, I don't know what you'd call these thingies, it's hair style stuff. Has movement on it, all the thingies on it, or just, it's just rubber made yeah, you do have this thing that opens out for a bit of the top away like the original one had and for some reason this opens up and I don't know why because there doesn't seem to be anything below it or anything in it but it does open up for it for some reason you see again I don't recall because I can't remember watching the film itself but there you go so that's some of the things that articulation wise you know it has a good damn good range of motion Thanks to the things, but like I say, that unsightly from the front there, like that, especially like this one, which I'm going to show you in a second. You know, its head can't move back first, but you've got to think when you date because you're going to have to reposition this 
band around its neck here to make so it doesn't look unsightly and look a bit it's crappy you know, so you will have to keep on altering that and moving it around to get it looking the way you want it to look you know but sculpt wise i'm going to show you now guys i'm going to show you around with close-ups on everything so you can see but sculpt wise i think it's brilliant there's a fierce sculpt on it with the closed mandibles pretty damn good and this is what I'm talking about with the thing you see with the elbow joint how it looks sort of pretty weird and from the back end it's not so bad because it's covered over see but the front end in order to get that good range of motion they've had to do something and that's the way they've done it so it looks a little bit weird from the front you know, it doesn't look the best in the world from the front but in order to give you the range of motion, they've had to sacrifice something slightly. Yeah, but the rest of it is damn good. Straight out of the box, it stands on its own two feet. Has no issues with standing up. Though sometimes with my bench being the way it is, it has a, a thing that I need to sort out with it, which is but it will stand, just to give it a slight bit of motion on the ankle articulation. See, again, how you can see there, the backs of the knees. We've got the same type of thing to give you a good amount of motion on them. But thankfully the front end is hidden away by the nice knee guards, which you can move into positions in order to make it work and hide them yeah does have a little bit of ankle articulation and motion left and right in order to give you the chance to stand it up and you can see it's that bit there on the neck where you have to watch and you're gonna have to keep on readjusting it to make it so that it sits in properly and doesn't sort of look out of place when you're moving it into different positions I suppose that's just the thing you do, you know, you collect that, you faff on, you make it look right. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be faffing on and making it look right for how I want it. I don't know how I'm going to pose this one, as I already have the one already. So maybe I'll have this one with its mask on. But it looks absolutely phenomenal like that. Yeah, it's a damn good piece. And I'm very happy I've got this one in my collection. So when the mandibles come out quite easily, I've just pulled the mandibles out in order to change the sculpt over a little bit. So I have the choice to pose them like this. Because I think it's about the only one that might come with this one, I'm not too sure. So maybe I will go with this on its face. Go with this look. Put its mask on. Decisions, decisions, guys. That's going to be the hardest one now. Is how do we decide to pose this one up? How do we make it look? There we go. That is a guardian predator. Part of two. So guys, thanks very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you've liked, please like. Give us a comment. Tell us what you think of this character. Subscribe if you want to see more, if you haven't already. And guys, I will catch you in the next one. This is the Bearded Nerdy Oaf. And I'm out. Now there's something worth a note here for you guys, just in case you didn't know, because I've just figured it out now, is that your two spare hands that you have in this thing are both right hands. 
you don't have any spare left hands to change it out so you will be stuck with that left hand all the time yeah the only ones that you can interchange is the right hand which to me seems a bit a bit of a shame and a bit lackluster since they should have really put in a, yeah, a, a, an interchange well, even if it was only one left and one right hand to interchange then that's what they should have done so that you could have had them literally like hold nothing in one hand and then holding this thing in the other if you wanted but you can't do that because the interchangeable hands are only for the right so there you go guys that's just a quick thing to let you know of something that i come across as i was like literally wanting to sort of change things around and see what would go best with them there you go guys still think he's a brilliant looking character it's just a shame that they sort of skimped a little bit by giving you two right hands rather than the left and the right hand so you cannot have them sort of posed with a couple of items but hey there you go that's what you get thanks so much for watching guys and this time we are out of here so what i believe you were trying to say is thank you thank you you're welcome what no 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 i i didn't i wasn't why would i ever <laughs> okay, say that? okay. I mean, <laughs>